Time now for the ridiculous. In just a few weeks past Easter, President Trump is handing out pardons like a very large bunny who loves rotten eggs. The latest person worthy of executive clemency apparently is Conrad Black, billionaire Canadian turned U.S. felon, convicted for fraud and, hey, get this, obstruction of justice. What a quinky dink. So he has two strikes against him, but in the plus column, he is a personal friend of the president who clearly doesn't like talking about obstruction of justice. And he gets a little thumbs up from the president also because he recently wrote a hard-hitting expose of the Trump administration. I'm kidding. It was a total suck-up book. But he actually did write this book. The title? Donald Trump, a president like no other. And no, there's no double entendre in that title. Black writes that President Trump is, quote, a good deal more ethical and honest than many other businessmen. Perhaps like many of the businessmen Mr. Black met while serving time at the Coleman Federal Correction Complex in Florida. Anyway, in announcing the pardon, the White House referred to Black, who, after he was released from prison, was deported back to Canada and then banned from returning to the U.S. for 30 years as, quote, Lord Conrad Black. You can Google how he got that title. Let's just say he ain't in the line of succession to any throne unless it's one President Trump just flushed. And, by the way, in announcing the pardon, the White House listed some of Lord Canadian Bacon's other books, but conveniently not the one about the president, nor did they mention their sizzling chemistry back in early 2013 on Black's talk show. Well, you're becoming the great, the great authority and the great czar of golf clubs in America, are you not? I have a lot of golf and I have a lot of buildings and I have a lot of everything. We're building all over the world. We have jobs going up really all over the world and they're very exciting. Pretty scintillating, right? Can we just go back to that cutaway shot of Lord Black? What is that? Like, for someone so wealthy, it kind of looks like Count Caviar or whatever the White House is calling him was kind of shooting a show with a nanny cam. It's like he just slid it up to a bank teller and security needed a wide shot. Now, obviously, this is not the first time the president has used his pardon power to absolve political allies for what he calls unfair treatment and the Constitution calls justice. There was the right-wing conspiracy theorist Dinesh uh, D'Souza, convicted of uh, federal campaign finance fraud. He got the giant Sharpie treatment. So did Dick Cheney's former chief of staff, Scooter Libby. He got a pardon for his crimes and maybe his nickname as well. And who could forget birther and disgraced ex-sheriff Joe Arpaio, held in federal contempt for illegally uh, detaining undocumented immigrants in Arizona. Who could have ever predicted that President Trump would see that as no big deal? There have been other pardons, some on firm humanitarian grounds, though it does help if you have a Kardashian willing to go to the White House for a photo op on your behalf. As for President Trump and Conrad Black, the swamp stench is strong tonight, and the president and his wealthy pal can beg our pardon on the ridiculous.